Hello everyone, this is Lilitz from Altenew. Thank you for joining me. In this video, I will walk you through how you can layer the images from the Cartoon Rose stamp set. As you can see, we have two beautiful cartoon roses on here. And what is really great is that all of these have numbers on them. So let's start with our first flower, which is flower A. I will start with the outline and this is going to make my stamping very easy. Now I'm going to use A2 and ink that up in pink diamond. As you can see, I'm using the outer edge to place my base stamp. Let's go over to A3. I'm going to ink this up in a very pretty pinkalicious color, which is a shade darker. And here I'm going to use the bottom part of the flower to layer up and just follow those lines, which I can see through my acrylic block. With A4, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to ink this up in Rubellite. And once again, I'm going to focus on that lower portion and those lines that are at the bottom. And once I'm happy with the placement, I can just press it down. If you're hesitant about the layering, you can always check out the layering guide at the back of the trifold card. Now let's go over with our last layer. This is number five, A5. And I'm going to use Rubellite, which is the darkest shade, and just ink this up. And once again, I'm going to focus on the bottom part of the flower just to layer everything up nicely. And there we have our first flower. Now for our second flower, which is the largest one, it's our flower B. Once again, I'm going to start by stamping the outline. Here I'm using black, but you could also use the really dark shade, shade like Rubellite. Then I'm going to take my pink diamond and ink up the base image. Once again, this first stamp is really easy to do because we have the outline of the flower and all we have to do is pop it, the color inside. Now let's do our third shade here with B3. And I'm using Pink Calicious for this one. So with, for this layer, I would advise you to look at, once again, the bottom half and try and follow those lines around the edges, but also the center part. With B4, I'm going to use Rubellite again and ink that up. And once again, I'm focusing on the bottom and on the center part to layer this fourth layer. And for my last layer, I'm uh, for B5, I'm using Razzleberry. Rosal once again, just going to give that a good ink up. And then once again, for this one, I'm going to be using the bottom section where you can see that tiny separate uh, line and then the center part. This is going to give me a good idea where I have to place my layer. There we go. So that center part and the bottom part. And there we have our two flowers. Now in the set, you also get two leaves and a lovely hello stamp. And you can stamp these in any color you want. You can even stamp them onto pattern paper, cut them out or color them with your favorite mediums. I hope this layering guide video was helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know by emailing support at altenew.com. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.